Our application process for the Community Initiatives Program Operating Funding Stream has recently moved to an online portal called Gatefront Office. This mini tutorial will show you step by step how to add attachments to your application. This is for an application that is already in progress. I will start with showing you the steps and then I will complete this mini tutorial with a video showing this process live. First, start by visiting the Gate Front Office webpage. This web address can be located in the email containing your login credentials. Once you arrive at the Gate Front Office login screen, you will need to select Login and enter your credentials. Once you have logged in, you will arrive at the home screen. My work should already be selected, but in case it is not, select My Work in the top left corner. Now scroll down until you see the section called Recent Submissions. It will look like the screen on the slide. Now select the application that is in progress. This is the application that you have previously started. Now you are coming back to this application to add in the attachments. You will arrive at this screen. This is your application that you previously started to complete. Now you need to select File Attachments from the left-hand side. You can see the list of documents that will need to be attached under document type. This column will tell you if this attachment is required or not. As you can see, some of the attachments are mandatory and some are not. Let's start by selecting the first document type. It's called 01 Signed Grant Agreement. First, you need to enter a document description. This is just a couple of words that describe the document that you are attaching. For example, you could write signed grant agreement. Next, select choose file. This will allow you to select the file you want to attach from your computer. Please take note of the allowable formats. Lastly, select save and back to list page will be updated to look like this. We can see the document description and we can see the date it was attached. Please note that there are no additional spaces to add attachments once this page fills up. If you have multiple quotes or multiple letters of support, then you will need to compile them all into one document before attaching them to your application. Once you have finished adding your attachments and if you are ready to submit your application, then select Submission Summary. This is the Submission Summary page. If your application is completed and ready to submit, then you will see check marks under the completed column. You can see here in this example that I need to complete each area in order to submit my application. That is why we are seeing X's instead of check marks. Once each area is completed and you are ready to submit your application, then select Submit in the top right corner. If you need to make any changes to your application after you have submitted your application, then you will need to contact our office to make those updates. Next, I will show you how to link these steps together. You will be able to see my screen as I walk you through this process. Once you've entered in your login credentials, you will come to this page. Start by selecting My Work in the top left corner. Now scroll down to your recent submissions and look for this tile that has Submit Application in Progress. This application has already been started and now we're coming back to it to add in more information. Now select File Attachments on the left hand side. We can see here there is one attachment that has already been attached. We can tell because it has a little red X giving us the option to delete this attachment. We can see the document description and the date that it was attached. Let's attach our executive list. We're going to select 02 executive list with contact information. We need to add a document description. I'm going to add the name executive list and the year 2023. Next, I'm going to choose this file from my computer. Now that it is uploaded here, I'm going to select Save and Back to List. We can see that this has been added because it gives us a little red X giving us the option to delete this attachment, as well as the document description and the date it was attached. 
If we have any other information that we need to go in and add to our application, we can navigate through these tiles on the left-hand side. If we're completed our application and we are ready to submit, then we can go to the submission summary page. This is the submission summary page. You can see here that each of these areas has an X beside them, which means that they are not completed and they're not ready to submit. Therefore, I cannot click submit on my application. If each of these areas had previously been entered and I'm ready to submit, you will see check marks all the way down and we will be able to submit our application. This is how you can attach attachments to your application. This concludes the mini tutorial on how to add attachments to your application in Gatefront Office. If you have any questions about this process, please contact Community Grants at communitygrants at gov.ab.ca or by phone at 1-800-642-3855.